Welcome back. Jacob, I'm sure you've seen the headlines. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is everywhere and yes. has caused concern among some that human jobs and livelihoods may be threatened. However, is this fear justified? Recent research from Cox Business suggests that most small business owners and employees actually view AI as a tool that can strengthen and help mm. grow their human workforce. To discuss AI's potential for small business and the opportunities that owners may be missing, we have small business expert Gene Marks joining us. Hey, Gene, thanks for joining us. Really appreciate it. Hey, guys, your time. thanks very much for having me on. Absolutely, yeah. Small businesses apparently benefiting from AI technology in various ways. Could you maybe share a few examples with us, Gene? Yeah, sure. First of all, I just want to make sure, like, you know, I, I write seven times a month. I'm a columnist for Forbes. I cover technology. I've been covering a lot of AI the past year and a half. Uh, and I've been doing this for like 15 years. It's a big, big thing. Um, for all of you employees that are out there that are like worried about your jobs, I, I just want to say relax a little <laughs> bit because uh, I don't think you have to worry too much. You know, Cox Business, they put out their 2024 small business survey just this past week. They had some really interesting data in it. First of all, they found that small business owners, two thirds of them that they surveyed invested in AI in 2023. These are small business owners. I mean, we are pretty conservative people, but we're leaning into it in a big way. 50% more said that they were going to invest in it in 2024. And, you know, it, it's, it's for productivity reasons, it's profitability reasons, it's customer experience reasons. It's a big thing for small business owners. And they're doing all of this so that they can enhance the jobs of their existing employees. Yeah, sure. Maybe you could give us, shed some light on how small business owners and employees grasp the use of AI. So the, the biggest use that I'm seeing of AI in 2024, I mean, someday we're going to be seeing flying saucers and uh, you know, guided you know, lasers and the Terminator. I don't know. I mean, maybe that'll happen. I, I put all that out of your mind. In 2024, when you're <laughs> using AI, the biggest use that I'm seeing is customer-facing stuff. It's, it's sales and marketing and customer service. So my smartest clients and my smartest reason, lead, readers they're leaning into their AI tools to create better emails, to do independent campaigns, to have you know, automatic outreaches to their customers, to uh, listen in on their customer service reps and provide guidance and more training for them to gauge customer sentiment. And then there's chatbots. I mean, we all deal with those. There's a lot of chatbots that are driven by AI technology. Uh, this is really strong stuff. And a lot of my, my smallest clients are realizing that by investing in these tools, um, they can provide a better customer-facing experience. So if you're a business owner and you're looking to um, you know, invest in AI this year, uh, the money is in customer experience. That's where it's going this year. Maybe that'll change in the future, but right now that's where the, the lion's share of the money's going. Okay, that's good. Yeah, customer experience. I was going to ask, which areas of business are most benefited by AI? Mm -hmm. Yeah, customer experience yeah. is the biggest thing, but what, what I can tell you is that uh, one of the, the, the sort of missed opportunities that I'm seeing is this gets back to the employee thing that you guys brought up before. I mean, 76% uh, of the business owners that were surveyed in the Cox Business Survey said that they were not investing in training. And I, I just got to say, as a business owner, I think that's crazy. I mean, you know, we're using accounting applications, CRM applications, you know, payroll applications, all of these things are now rolling out AI features. Microsoft, Google, you know, ChatGPT. Come on, guys. we got to be spending more time training our employees. Half of the fear that employees are having about AI is that they don't really understand it. And what, once they understand what it can do and how it can help them do a better job, be more productive, be happier at work, I mean, it will absolutely benefit your employees as well as benefit us as business owners. So yeah. it's a big missed opportunity. For sure. And you're talking about missed opportunities, and I'm sure our small business owners don't want to miss those opportunities when it comes to AI. So where, where can we go for any more information on this? Our, our, our viewers can go to learn more about the survey. There's two places that I would recommend. First of all, as a business owner, you want to find out how other business owners are using AI. So go to the Cox Business 2024 Small Biz Survey. It's at coxblue.com forward slash small biz survey. The second piece of advice I have for you guys is um, we have to clean up our data when it comes to AI. AI will not work very well if it's working mm. off of lousy data. Get your data hosted. Uh, Cox Business has a great company called Rapid Scale. If you move your data to a, a managed services provider like a Rapid Scale, they'll make sure the data integrity is good, it's backed up, it's secure, it's accessible. That way you are positioned to use all these AI features and functionality that are going to be coming over the next few years. So 
Get it hosted. Go to rapidscale.net is my recommendation. Gene, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your time today. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it, too. Yeah, absolutely.